we are going to be talking about the four pillars of the ATM business. That should take about um, the next 10 to 15 minutes. And then we're going to roll right into ATM mobile events, uh, live testimonial with David Linares. It's going to be phenomenal. We're going to keep it real. And at the end of the day, you guys are going to get a lot of value out of this. Okay. Hey guys, how's it going? This is Paul Alex from atmtogether.com and ATM is for Beginners. Happy January 18th, 2022. Um, I'm okay. We had a long weekend uh, yesterday. Hope everybody watched the Niners kick some butt. It was a phenomenal game. I mean, let's, let's talk about football, right? Who's going to take the playoffs, guys? If you guys have a favorite team, okay? If you have a favorite team, go ahead and drop down in the comments below. Uh, what favorite team you guys are rooting for, especially for the Super Bowl, okay? Because I'm telling you right now, last time that the Niners made the playoffs, guess what? They made it to the Super Bowl, guys. So uh, with that being said, uh, I want to just thank, first off, before I get started, I want to thank everybody for the birthday wishes. I uh, really appreciate that, guys. Um, I, I will definitely be commenting back to every single one of you guys. You guys are amazing. All right, guys. So we have a special treat for you on this uh, live Tuesday training. We're actually going to be talking about quite a few things. The first thing I'm going to be talking about is the four pillars of the ATM business. Okay. So I have to start off for somebody that is absolutely new, as someone who is absolutely green, that this is their first live training. Okay. And for many of you that tune in, Tuesday after Tuesday after Tuesday. I appreciate you. This is why we have the special live testimonial with one of our, um, you could say, elite clients, David Lenares. David Lenares, 23-year-old active military veteran. Um, he is a serial entrepreneur. He's a father of one. And he started his ATM business just last year, where now he is I'm talking about going to the moon with ATM mobile events. Phenomenal, guys. Phenomenal. So he has a really great story for you guys. Really, really great information. And then he also is creating something spectacular, guys, that he's actually going to offer to many of you. Um, if you guys do work with atmtogether.com, you guys are going to be in for a treat. Now, if this is your very first live training. Go ahead and comment live. That's going to be L-I-V-E. But if you are watching the replay of this tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, or this weekend, then go ahead and comment replay. That's going to be R-E-P-L-A-Y. Now, the reason why we have you guys comment this is because we like to provide you guys with free resources. Now, I'm here by myself, but I have a whole team checking out the comments, checking out what you guys are commenting. And the questions that you guys ask, trust me, they're going to get answered by the end of tonight. I promise you, okay? Now, with that being said, to give you guys a little bit of background on me, my name is Paul Alex. I've been in the ATM business for a little bit over five years now. I literally started from a nine to fiver, going to the office, sitting in traffic. Trust me, I thought the norm was getting a high paying job, getting your house, and then just living your life. At the end of the day, I was working a tremendous amount of hours, getting frustrated, getting gray hairs, all that jazz. So ultimately, I started looking for a side hustle. Side hustle ended up being the ATM business, guys. Yes, just like you, just like you right now, um, searching on Facebook, searching to see what other sources of income that you can build for your family. Exact same scenario that I went through, guys. So after a very thorough search, I found the ATM business. And the reason why I chose the ATM business because it's a black and white business. It's very simple. I believe that anyone can execute it as long as you're able to take action, guys. So with that being said, I was able to build my ATM business route from one to 30 locations within 18 months. And the main reason for that is for a couple of key things I'm actually going to be talking about in this live training. Number one, I actually got a mentor after six months, okay? I wish I would have gotten him right before I started. It would have saved me a lot of headaches, but the mentor is key, guys. I'm talking about getting somebody with experience that knows how to do this business and then having them giving you the blueprint. How do you gain success? Almost like it's an overnight thing. It's not by 
stepping on your own foot for years, months. No, it's by actually copying the already successful people. So if you're able to find a mentor, you're able to find somebody who's already successful in the ATM business, then I highly encourage you to go ahead and follow them. Go ahead and ask for their help. They'll be more than willing to help you guys, okay? Closed mouths don't get fed, all right? I love saying that saying. All right, so with that being said, I also recommend leveraging credit, guys. Leverage credit. And the reason why I say this is because for many of you, if you do have an average credit score, okay, you're able to get a zero interest credit card, which you're able to purchase all of your equipment. And then you're able to do a minimum payment monthly, guys, meaning that, for example, the American Express Blue Cash credit card, business credit card. Now, I love this credit card. I like referring people to this credit card. The reason why is because they're able to give you business credit when you have no business revenue coming in. And then on top of that, they give you $300 cash back. And it's phenomenal, guys. At the end of the day, you're already going to spend the money to purchase your ATM and your equipment. You might as well go ahead and get $300 cash back for using that credit card, right? And at the end of the day, zero interest is good debt. It's not bad debt, okay? Bad debt is when you're buying a liability, let's say like, I don't know, a gaming system or something that's not going to make you money. And then ultimately you are paying additional interest every single month. That's what bad debt is, okay? So, and that's going to be the American Express Blue Cash credit card. Um, you guys can check it out, americanexpress.com. I get no referrals, no nothing. I'm not affiliated with them. I just like to refer what works. Okay. So that's one. After I leveraged that, I was able to purchase about six ATMs off of my credit cards. And then I was able to use the cash that I did have to fill my ATMs. Yes, guys, for many of you guys that are watching this right now, and you don't know where the money's going to come from inside of your ATM, it's actually your own personal funds. You are an independent contractor. You are sending out the ATMs out there. And at the end of the day, um, you are making the surcharge fees, your profits. That's how you mainly make money in the ATM business. It's a phenomenal business. It's very simple. Okay. Um, and then so far since then, I have moved to build multiple companies. Okay. Not only in the ATM business, but in real estate. And I've also now invested into crypto guys. If you guys are not investing into crypto, I highly recommend start doing your research. I would hit up one of um, my uh, teammates on etmtogether.com. Get him, Jonas. Um, he'll be on my friend list. You'll see him as the mod in this group as well. He's starting a program called Crypto for Beginners. I would highly recommend you guys join the wait list on that. It's going to be phenomenal and it's going to show you the basics you need for crypto as well. Um, so from there, guys, I was able to build ETM together. Now, the, the inspiration that I got to build ATM together is basically a done-for-you service, meaning that we're able to help nine-to-fivers or inspiring entrepreneurs build their ATM business, but also leverage their time. Because um, when it comes to entrepreneurship, you're either going to be either leveraging all the time that you have because you may not be working or you may have money and you have a lot of time to spend, right? So then you want to go ahead and actually put in the work, right? You want to go ahead and prospect your locations. But for a lot of us, including myself, um, I didn't have that much time. I had to actually take a lot of vacation time out of my nine to five in order to build my business. And for a lot of folks, they're not able to do that. Okay. So we, we thought of this phenomenal idea done for you service where we include absolutely everything from A to Z. We're the actual only ATM digital company out there that has offered anything like this guys. And I'm actually going to be talking about this after our live testimonial, it's the ATM automation service. If you haven't checked out our service, our products, or any of our client testimonials, um, then check out etmtogether.com and you guys will love it. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and go over the agenda for today. The agenda for today, we are going to be talking about the four pillars of the ATM business. That should take about um, the next 10 to 15 minutes. And then we're going to roll right into ATM mobile events, uh, live testimonial with David Lenares. It's going to be phenomenal. We're going to keep it real. And at the end of the day, you guys are going to get a lot of value out of this. Okay. So please, if you guys are excited to learn about how to build your business with the four fundamentals that I'm about to teach you right now, then go ahead and comment ATM, guys. Comment ATM, and I'm going to make sure that you guys get either our 10-step cheat sheet or our ATM beginner's guide. I literally, this past weekend, guys, 
I'm going to tell you right now, I sent a little bit over 205 10 step cheat sheets through the DMs, guys. Yeah, it took me a little bit, but I was able to do it. So um, uh, please be patient if you sent a message. Um, the quickest way to get a response, guys, I'm going to tell you this right now, is to add me as a friend on Facebook. That way, I instantly get the actual message and it doesn't go to the message request folder. Okay. So make sure that you guys go ahead and do that if you haven't already. And then also add the ATM together team. Um, you'll see a lot of our posts and all that jazz on there, guys. Okay. So let's go over the fundamentals. What I'm going to be talking about is four key fundamentals that actually you're going to need to do. And let me bring my little whiteboard right here. Make sure that this shows on screen, guys. Okay. All right. Awesome. And it does. Okay. So I'm going to call this the four keys for your ATM business, guys. Okay. This is exactly the most important uh, foundations that you need for your ATM business. And the reason why I say this is because we all get in our head. We all get in our head. I'm telling you right now, I was the first one um, to start any type of business in my family. And ultimately, I was scared. I was scared. And because it's a big risk. It's a big risk. And because it's new, uh, you're uncomfortable. And for majority of you guys, um, whether you're married, whether you have a big family, whether you have a support system, a lot of you guys are going to go into entrepreneurship alone. And I completely understand this. This is why we've created a community like ATM Business for Beginners to provide you with that reassurance that you'll be able to make it as well. Um, so with that, the four keys that I'm going to be talking about is number one, forming your company. And that's going to be talking about LLC, sole proprietorship. The second thing I'm going to be talking about is your business bank account. Okay, I'm going to abbreviate that. The third thing I'm going to be talking about is processing. And then the fourth thing, locations. Now, based on my training and experience, guys, I think, I truly believe that these four keys to the ATM business is going to be your biggest concerns and risk factors when it comes to starting this business, whether you are green or whether you already know this and you're a veteran, okay? So I'm pretty sure the veterans out here, they could totally agree with me. If you were to mess any of these up, it's tremendously going to impact your business. You cannot mess up buying a brand new ATM. You cannot mess up finding a actual, well, yeah, you can mess up getting a good mentor, but um, these are going to be the, the riskiest, okay, riskiest concerns when it comes to your business. Now, forming your company, let's talk about this real quick. When it comes to forming your company, you want to decide whether you want to do an LLC or sole proprietorship. What's the biggest difference, okay? LLC, limit liability company. Um, a lot of people like to reassure themselves as far as having a balloon, a balloon to cover themselves in case they get sued. This is why a lot of people like taking out the LLC. Um, that's the way you got to think about it. It's more like a balloon. If you were to file your business as a sole proprietorship, now your personal assets are at risk. So let's say, for example, okay, if your ATM is at a liquor store and someone stumps their foot and now they're saying, well, I'm going to try to sue you because your ATM caused that injury to my foot. Funny, but it happens, guys, right? So at the end of the day, um, do you have to worry about now possibly having your personal assets uh, liable in case you get sued? Yes. And th that's going to be yes if you do file for sole proprietorship. Now, if you do LLC, you have that extra umbrella. It's almost like a balloon, right? Because it's your LLC. That is the asset that's actually covering you, okay, in case you get sued. Meaning that anything that is under your actual business name could get taken, but none of your personal assets can. Okay. That's the simplest way I could put that right now. We could go into deep detail, but we don't have that much time on here. Okay. Now, 
let's go into cost. Every state is going to vary on cost, guys. And the reason why I say that, if you're in California, everything's expensive. We know this, right? And a yearly basis to cover the fees for LLC, it's around $800, right? But in Texas, once you file in Texas, for example, I'm not sure if it's every county, but I know in Houston, it's around 300 bucks, okay? It might be different depending on what state you guys are in. The EIN number. You guys are going to need to file an EIN number specifically for the ATM business because the bank is going to ask you for this number. And if it doesn't match up according to what you're actually doing, then you may not get approved for your business bank account, which is actually number two, what we're going to be talking about right now. Now, you're probably wondering if this is your first time on one of our lives thinking, Paul, what are you talking about? It's just a business bank account. True. I said the same thing because I had businesses before I started my ATM business. But I'm going to tell you this right now, guys. At the end of the day, okay, the reason why I count the business bank account as the second key to your ATM business is because this is one of your key foundations. We don't even allow clients to order the ATM from us or use our location finder services unless they have their LLC set up and they have their business bank account forms on hand, ready to go talk to, to, talk to our technicians, okay? <clears throat> All right, let me take a little sip of this water. Okay, much better. Now, with that being said, all right, reason why business bank account is so difficult to get in the ATM business. One, because the ATM business is liable for money laundering. It is. You had a few bad apples that use the ATM business to cover up their dirty laundry, guys. So now we're all taking the repercussions for that. Banks have compliance departments specifically to red flag accounts. And what they do is they will shut you down unless you are truthful from the beginning and you are already working with a processing company who provides you with all of the documents that you need in order to set up your account properly, okay? Now, with that being said, let's go to direct competition. A lot of banks do not like offering their accounts to you because you're an independent contractor that's basically taking away the clients from the banks, all right? Um, number three, I highly don't recommend using a personal checking account. Just don't do it, guys. Even if you have gone to 10 different locations in your city and you've got to know you have to reevaluate the way you're going about it and actually ask the banker what exactly is the issue. It might be something that you're saying that's red flagging the banker to tell you no, right? So it might be as far as not being prepared with all of your LLC documents, the form of your company, um, not having a processing agreement between you and the processing company, which I'm going to get into next, okay? Or not having the actual ETM placement contract, guys. So at the end of the day, you have to make sure that you guys have all of this set up, okay? Um, all right. Now, let's continue with processing. And just give me one second here, guys. I just got to give the passcode to David to make sure that he could get into the room. <clears throat> and type this out. Okay, perfect. All right, guys. Okay, let's go into processing now. So with processing, you want to make sure that you go with the right company. Processing is the ATM network. Just think of your cell phone, Verizon, AT&T. Processing is what the ATMs use in order to facilitate the transactions between the banking network. This is how your clients are going to be able to actually withdraw from their um, actual ATM account. And then you're going to be able to hold the money that they borrowed from you, plus the surcharge fee at their bank account and then be transmitted into your business checking account the very next day, okay? Uh, a couple of examples of processing companies is called Switch Commerce, all right? That's one of the ones that we use. It's actually the best one. Um, 
with ATM processing, you guys want to make sure that two things, guys, and here's a couple of golden nuggets, okay? It is one, you want to make sure that you actually go ahead and you get free processing, meaning that you are getting no charges for the surcharge fee. And then two, you want to make sure that there is no contract, guys, okay? All right, guys, just give me one second as I get David logged in here, and it'll be one minute. All right, guys, we're back. Okay, so processing. And once again, two golden nuggets, guys. You want to make sure that you get free processing. And then you also want to make sure that there's no contract. The additional bonus that I am going to tell you when you go with a processing company is to actually purchase your ATM from the processing company. And the reason why I tell you that is because you want to go ahead and actually make sure that you get the most discounted rate off of the ATM or other services, okay? That's going to be a little golden nugget for you when you are brand new and you're looking to see who you're going to start out with in uh, processing or ATM supplier. Do not, do not, guys, buy the ATM from one company and then go with a different company for the network. The reason why, you're going to pay premium price for the actual machine, for the modem, and for the network. If you go to an all-one-stop uh, shop, okay, just like atmtogether.com, you will actually reap the benefits of all of their services, okay? Um, all right, and let's go into the final one, guys, right before we go into uh, speaking with our live testimonial. And that's going to be locations, how to prospect locations and get more leads for your business faster, guys. And I love talking about this, the sales, okay? Sales is one of the most high valuable skills that you could ever learn in this world, guys, okay? And with locations, it's almost like if any of you guys are used to uh, the vending machine business, okay? With the vending machine business, location, 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 right? You have to make sure your location is good. So with that, you want to do a couple things. Three ways of prospecting for your locations is one, door-to-door -door prospecting, okay? Two, cold calling pros prospecting. And then three, online prospecting, okay? You want to make sure that your offer is customized to the client. What do I mean by that? If your client is telling you, listen, I'm not happy with the service, listen to them. Now you have the opportunity to show them why your service is tip top, why it's better than the rest of the ATM companies out there. They don't want to hear about the bells and whistles regarding your ATM. They want to hear about the service. Okay. So make sure that you guys find the issue. That's going to be number one. And make sure you guys are writing this. If you're not find the issue, customize the offer, show the benefits, Showing the benefits is key here, okay, guys? And then offer your customized ATM program. You always want to demonstrate as well. You want to give examples. One key factor why my businesses have been able to scale throughout the years is simply because I like to rely on client results. Client results is everything, especially on online businesses, guys. I believe that if you're able to demonstrate actual results from an actual person, right? From the time that they started with you to the finished result. And they're just alike the current client or prospect that you are talking to. Guess what? That's almost like a, a home run. It's like if you're playing Tetris and you have all the right pieces that fit together because that client is going to look and be like, 
that could be me. And in business, that's huge. That is huge. Okay. So if right now you have some remarkable clients that are extremely happy regarding the service that you're providing, I highly recommend that each and one of you get a client testimonial, whether it's a text message, whether it's a social media post, video is huge. Okay, guys, I will say this right now. If you're able to get a video and then you have a website and you post it on there and just imagine somebody clicking on your homepage and then, and then the first thing they see is a client testimonial on there saying, Hey, um, you know, this is the reason why I've gone with Paul's business ETM, uh, 101 in, uh, San Francisco, uh, because they provide the best service. They offered, uh, the best rates. Uh, I loved, uh, the, the monthly service that they provide to me and overall Paul's a great guy. It, it's a home run. It's basically you're nurturing the client before they even talk to you. Okay, guys. So with that, I'm going to see where our uh, client is. Hold on one second. All right. Let me double check. Okay. Let's see this. Let's see. Okay. Almost there. All right, guys. So how many of you guys are excited to hear about ATM mobile events? Let me ask you, okay? Whoever's watching right now, how many of you guys have already started your ATM business? If you guys have already started your ATM business this year or last year, then comment CEO below, guys. If you have not, then comment newbie. That's going to be N E W. B-I-E, newbie. And then we're just going to give it a minute. I appreciate the ads right there, guys. Excellent. See the comments. And we, we, we have a lot of newbies on, on, uh, on this live, guys. Remarkable. I hope you guys are learning a couple of things. If you have any Q&A, any uh, questions, go ahead and I'll respond while we wait for David. You have some issues saying incorrect password. Uh, let's see. There we go. All right. Let's bring them on. Benjamin, I, I like that, man. That's going to change. That's right, buddy. Okay, here we go. You got to love Zoom, guys. When you need it to work, it doesn't work, right? All right, I think I'm in. So right, give me one in second. Right now. I have business already, business accounts already. Can I use them? So Sal. If they're not already established for the ATM business, I would highly recommend that you do not. And the reason why, because they could get red flagged. Unless you go ahead and you let your banker know to transition it to the ATM business, then they'll, they'll uh, have a note in the system. And that way the compliance department doesn't red flag them. Okay. Because that's what happened to me with Chase and Wells Fargo. When I first started, I got shut down after three months and I was scrambling to find an additional business account. Okay. All right. Man of the hour. Mr. Lanares. Hey, hey, what's going on? Can you hear me? Let me see if I can, I can hear you, man. Can you hear me now? Let's go right here. Uh, all right, let me know when you can hear me. Oh, I can hear you now, buddy. It was just me. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> How's everything going, man? Good, good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. I appreciate you hopping on, man. I, uh, Last minute, I know we were talking about it yesterday and um, yep. you're, you're doing some great things with the ATM mobile. And I know I got a lot of, lot of actual feedback from tons of people regarding your story. And they were just curious how you're doing it, man. So um, just like last time we did a, uh, your, your first live testimonial. Um, basically, let's just start from the beginning, man. And then we could go into what you want to talk about. I know you have a couple goodies that you want to tell the public as well. 
Um, and then we could get into that, into that uh, towards the end. Sounds good? Yep, that's, that's fine. Okay, David. All right, David. So tell us about yourself uh, real quick, like background, your age, and then what ultimately got you into the ATM business, brother? Um, so, you know, 23-year-old, um, straight out of high school, went into the military, um, just kind of didn't know what to do. So I was like, let's go in the military, see what we can find. Um, and then being in the military for a little while, um, there was just a lot of free time. So I was like, I need to do something in my life. Like I need to do something more than just, you know, nine to five job. Um, so I started looking for different things to do, uh, different side gigs. Um, we had a, had a few um, other jobs and then, um, but I wanted something passive, you know, you don't have to work for the money, you know, you know, that's, that's what I'm trying to go for. Um, so of course I looked into the ATM, um, business and in the beginning it was a little bit uh like i've said before skeptical just because um there's not uh, there's not a, a lot of information about what we do out there um and a lot of people don't believe it's it's being done a lot of people don't, still don't understand that you can own an atm yeah. and that you can make money from an atm um and it takes a lot of people by surprise so you know um you know looking into it you know reaching out to a lot of people uh, reaching out to the group and and <clears throat> when i finally saw a group that was legit you reached out to me. We had our first call. Um, after that, you know, we hit it off. You know, you connect me with Mike, connect me with everyone I needed to be connected with. Um, and, and I started with the location wise, uh, started off with, uh, I think my first was a barbershop. And then eventually got, uh, I got a supermarket and then we ended up almost um, getting at least three chain uh, supermarkets. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, now um, we've transitioned into the mobile and we're trying to transition a little bit more into the mobile and get rid of the locations just because it's a lot of work, yeah. um, at least on the weekends. Um, yeah. And our locations are um, actually tying down a lot of our money, believe it or not. Um, mm -hmm. Absolutely. With this, mo with this mobile aspect, you know, we, we need a lot of cash flow. So mm -hmm. um, it being at locations, it kind of ties down our money. But, you know, like I said, we'll go into more details um, in a few about, you know, what, what's going on with this mobile event stuff. Yeah, no, absolutely, man. Absolutely. And, you know, I think that's, that's good to educate the public on, you know, the differences between a stationary ATM business and then a mobile ATM business. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're going to talk about it, but that's one of the necessities in ATM mobile is having uh, cash, uh, a lot of it, um, especially because you could have possibly hundreds and hundreds of people using your ATM that day or that weekend, right? Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so let's let's talk about the mobile aspect of it, man. Um, how do you land your events for your ATM mobile part of your business? Um, so, like I said, last year was our first year doing it. You know, um, it was a lot of hit and misses. Believe it or not, we we would show up to certain events and we'd get five, ten transactions. Right, it was a bummer. But um, then we go to some uh, events and we hit it out of the part, you know, 100, 150 transaction. And that's, that's better than nothing. The way I would look at it is instead of the trailer sitting at my parking, mm -hmm. I had it somewhere out there and it was making money no matter what. Yeah. Um, so what we did was, you know, the first, the first year was pretty much a lot of research on it. See is what's going on out there, you know, with COVID mm -hmm. um, around, there wasn't a lot going on, but there were certain events that, you know, if you were able to talk to the organizers um, and you were able to get in, you know, at least to start off your business, it was something. Um, yeah. <clears throat> and the way I looked at it is um, I reached out to them and I explained to them my situation. Hey, uh, I own my own ATM company here locally. Um, we want to go out there, reach out and, uh, you know, provide services to your event. And then uh, so we reached out Facebook wise, we reached out. Um, uh, it was a lot of word of mouth after that. And then um, some some were found on the event, right? You know, just, just not a lot of um, information found on the event, right? Um, but once we kicked that off, we were busy from June all the way to, our, I think our last event was like November 15 mm -hmm. ish. Um, and it was constant every weekend, every weekend. And like I said, there were some where we show up and we'd get no, um, no transactions. And then some, we would, uh, kill it out of the park. We were not we almost had, um, uh, you know, like my, my, uh, post almost a thousand transactions, uh, yeah. for that weekend. So, um, so yeah, but the mobile aspect of it, it's just, it's, it's a whole different ball game. You know, it's a whole different from the stationary. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. so, so, you know, so we, before we get deeper into the mobile <clears throat> aspect of this, just to let you folks know, whoever's watching this right now, I know we have a ton of newbies right now watching this live. So ATM placements. Okay. You basically go to a business where you want to place your ATM. You want to offer your services 
And then um, most of the time, yes, you do have to pay some type of like a, a surcharge fee or a percentage of your surcharge fee to the owner to um, place your ATM inside that business. And that's ultimately how you make a lot of your money, right? What David is transitioning to guys, okay, ATM mobile events. Now think about it like this, your county fairs, your flea markets, um, concerts, um, cash driven events that happens in your local city, town, uh, state. Um, now you would go approach the event organizer, offer your services saying, Hey, I know you guys are serving a lot of cash over here. Um, I mean, for where I'm from, uh, San Francisco and, uh, where I used to work, uh, in the East Bay, um, there used to be a lot of rodeos, Mexican rodeos. And what would be in Mexican rodeos, my friend, a lot of beer, right? So at the end of the day, that, that's all they do was cash. So uh, a lot of the guys there, they'd be like, hey, Paul, and you know, can, can you um, offer like three or four of your ATMs? And I was like, unfortunately, man, this is not my cup of tea. I, I, I stuck with stationary, you know, because I, I wanted to keep it as passive. But if you want to make some big bucks in the span of a day or two, this is where it's at. You know, this is where it's at. And I think it's an important aspect to actually show newbies because you could go so many different routes uh, within the ATM business, whether you want to do stationary, whether you want to do mobile, whether you want to offer different services, right? So um, I think it's good. I think it's good. Okay, David. So let me, let me ask you this, um, just because we like to help people um, in ATM business for beginners, what advice would you give someone who is looking to get into ATM mobile events? Let's say if... Uh, you were their mentor. What would be the first couple of steps you would tell them uh, in order to get started? Um, so a couple of things that I would say is um, apart from, you know, your stationary ATM business, your stationary ATM business, you can, you can probably start off with, you know, 12K, right? You know, you know, depending on the location, depending on your cash flow, the machine, that's pretty much setting up your whole business from day one to your, you know, to the day you have the location set up. Um, if you're deciding to go into this uh, mobile event, you have to have a lot of cash on hand. Um, and the only reason we say that is because we've gone through almost 70 K on one day with mm -hmm. uh, certain, certain mobile events. Um, so like I said, it's a whole different ballpark when it comes to mobile events. Um, you know, you're going through a lot more frequent uh, transactions. Um, it's not really as passive, uh, depending on what your setup looks like, you know, I have a, uh, a trailer. So six in the morning, I'm out there, I'm setting up the trailer, I'm turning on the trailer, um, and I can go home, right? I go mm -hmm. home and I'm just monitoring on, on my phone, um, checking the cash. Cash runs through that machine. It's like, it's crazy how, how fast the, the cash runs through the machines. But, you know, like I said, if you don't have a heavy cash flow and like a heavy um, foundational support system, it's, it's, it's going to be impossible for you to um, start this right away. And the only reason I say that is because um, as a mobile, um, as mobile um, ATM um, service provider, mm -hmm. one of the things is to always have your machine up, right? Throughout the whole event, you want to make sure your machines are up. Um, going out to different organizers and, and, and talking to them, most of the things that tell us is, hey, what happens when a machine goes down? You know, <laughs> hey, what happens when you run out of money? Mm -hmm. And most of them are like, well, when I run out of money, I run out of money. Um, other things are well you know they never came to fix the machines and mm -hmm. this is um them dealing with bigger companies yeah right? i can imagine as, as yeah us as, as as small business owners we know that we can't we don't we can't afford that we can't afford our machines to be down because that's losing money and not only that you know if we want to establish a, a good foundation for mobile atm you have to establish relationships with these organizers um mm -hmm. you know it's not like your store owner where your store owner sees everything that's going on on the daily operation no, you literally show up, you set up your machine and you can leave and they know that, hey, your machine's there and it's going to be good to go throughout the whole thing. So just make sure that, you know, if you decide to um, start this, just make sure you have a big cash flow. Uh, make sure that you uh, pick up on a lot of these uh, videos that um, that you and Mike, you know, produce because a lot of these things are things you're going to be running out um, that you're going to be running into when you come out to these events. You know, if your machine gets jammed, how do how do um, how to fix your, your machine? Um, simple service, say the machine's out of service, how do you fix it? Um, so just have a, a strong background when it comes to um, ATMs. You know, this is my first year. Um, most of our machines never really went down, um, you know, luckily, and, and I'm going to knock on wood, you know, because that's something that we've uh, we pledged that we, we never went down, cash never ran out. Um, and then, you know, coming this year, we've received um, a lot of referrals, believe it or not, um, from people saying, hey, 
half the people I don't even know where we're calling, we're getting calls from, but they're like, hey, I heard you get mobile ATM. We want to go ahead and consider you, you know, send us your information or, hey, here's our list for this year. We would love for you to work again. And, you know, here you go again. Um, so that's what you want to establish. You want to establish a relationship with, with the organizers. And um, like I said, um, it's not cheap to start a mobile ATM. Um, so if you have the funds and you have the means, you know, mobile ATM is, is, is the way to go, the way I see it right now. And that's from my perspective, um, doing both stationary and um, mobile events. Yeah, absolutely. So just to clarify for people that are watching, um, some of the pros and cons for mobile is that it's a faster return on investment because you have a one to two day event where there's a consistent usage of your ATM at this event, you know, whether it's a flea market, whether it's a carnival, a rodeo or whatnot, and you can have hundreds or even thousands of people use it, thousand transactions, and that's good money. You know, you're making thousands of dollars on, on a day or two, right? Compared to you might have an average location, but then it takes those 30 days to make possibly one third or, you know, it could vary depending on your location. Um, if it's a, just a placement, if it's just a stationary ATM, but you don't need as much cash cash as you would for mobile. Is that correct? Yeah. And like you said, you did point out that, you know, going stationary, it, it's, you're, you're in the same kind of business, mm -hmm. right? The only thing um, is um, it takes a lot more assets for you to start your mobile than it starts to your stationary. So as a beginner, mm -hmm. get your machine, learn the ATM program first, you know, learn, learn, learn the things they're going to be running into. And you can transition to that eventually where the mobile assets, because you need to get, you need to, um, you know, make sure you have enough cash for that. And yeah. you'll see that, you know, certain locations, you have a golden location where you're turning around money like crazy, right? And then we, as in the ATM, can show up to an event where we're driving 50 miles to an event and we show up and there's 10, 20 transactions. So we run into the same problem when it comes to mobile and when it comes to the placement. Mm -hmm. um, some placements, you know, some don't do good. My, my, some of mine didn't do good. Some of my ATMs with the mobile didn't do good. Mm -hmm. So either way, you're still running into the same ballpark. But at the end yeah. of the day, as a uh, mobile, you just have a lot more assets and then um, it's a bigger, it's a bigger business. So if you have the means, if you have a bigger bank and, and you know, you can handle these mobile, um, it's something to look into, but you have to understand that you're not buying one machine. You know, you're not going to yeah. go to the corner, set up your ATM at a corner and stand next to it and make sure no one takes it and say, yeah, yeah yes, you have my ATM because you're taking away the aspect of your passive income. Now, right. if you can buy, if you can uh, get five, six um, machines that you can put strategically around the event, the event secure, that's where we're talking about scaling up your business because, um, you know, these big organizers are looking for five to six machines. They're not mm -hmm. looking for one or two, yeah. you know, um, if they're looking for one or two, you pretty much don't want to be there because you're not going to get as much transactions. You're kind of not relying on you. Now, if you're right. asking for five to six, you know, hey, this is going to be a heavy um heavy usage ATM. That's why they don't yeah. want big lines and they know what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just scale wise. You can scale your ATM stationary or you can scale your ATM mobile, but just understand that mobile, it takes a lot more work than the stationary ATM since you're having Absolutely. to put more into it. So more money, more effort, you know, you may want to stay there um, just in case, you know, any of the ATMs go down. Uh, unless you live locally, but at the end of the day, yeah, it is more work and it doesn't, it isn't as passive as, you know, putting it stationary at a liquor store or, you know, a convenience store. So, I mean, this, uh, and to be honest with you, man, that's the reason why I never went mobile because I, I was already working a tremendous amount of hours and, you know, I only had really the weekends to do this thing. And uh, luckily I was, uh, you could say i you know, I was able to take some vacation time in order to, to do my majority of my placements, but, um, yeah, no, that's, that's great info. Let's talk about the trailer, man. I think a lot of people are interested in how exactly are you, um, setting up your ATMs at these events? Are you, uh, just using a trailer or are you doing a, a freestanding? How are you setting up your, uh, ATMs and what are you using to power them? So for the setup that I use, um, you know, the first the first year it was kind of like a hey, let's try it out kind of thing. So um, what what I did is that we we bought a five by eight trailer, um, enclosed trailer, um, barn doors, 
side door and we set up two ATMs, you know, instead of buying a brand new ATM, what we did is we had an extra Halo 2. So we put a standing ATM inside of the side door and we put a um, wall unit, a Gen Mega wall unit um, in the back of the uh, trailer. And we would just go to these events, set them up, um, and uh, we powered them with generators. Um, of course, the first year we learned a lot. You know, we learned that hey, maybe it isn't bad to have a standing ATM on the side just in case, because you know, with a trailer you can probably set up in the entrance. But hey, guess what? They want one by the bar. You can grab one out of your trailer, go put it by the bar. So, um, you know, we learned a lot of things strategically of how to do it now. Um, you know, in the beginning, we started off with no power source. We relied on the power source. We said, all right, you know, every event should have power if we're going to go out there because they're outdoor events. Um, and then we started realizing, well, we had a disadvantage because the organizer would put us where they wanted. Yeah. So with the generator, it was like, hey, I have my own power source. I'm going to set up right here. This is ideal for me to put my ATM where all the traffic's walking by. Guess what? We had a lot of um, transactions. Um, so... Like I said, it all it, it all worked out the first year. Uh, for this coming up here, um, we actually uh, placed the Halo Two. I happen to have a friend that you know I did a mobile event with, and he happened to own a bar, and he said, "Hey, I want that ATM in my bar." And we made it happen in two days. We took it off the trailer. We went to go ahead and install it on his uh, at his bar. Um, zero surcharge to him, believe it or not. He nice. I guess he didn't he didn't he didn't even ask, so we didn't mention it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Nice. So yeah, we did mention that we would give him a cut when he came to his event. So I guess that's where he's going to get us back. Um, mm -hmm. So um, now for this year, we have a different, a whole different setup. Um, we have two Gen Megas wall units that are be on the back, both ADA compliant. Um, we have our main power source that we're going to try to rely on is going to be our solar panels. Uh, so we did buy a solar panel module, and nice. then we will of course have the Gen Mega as the backup. Nice. Uh, not the Gen Mega, the generator as a backup. So, you know, learning the learning the loops the first year. Now we understand. Hey, this is how it works. It's only like powering two laptops and mm -hmm. these solar panels should handle it. Um, so we're going eco, as you can say. So we're not having to waste that much gas on this generator. Um, but you know, always having a backup as a generator is always going to be good. So that's what we nice. transitioned to now is um a two two Gen Mega wall units set up one Halo, one Gen Mega, and then they're both ADA compliant, so we can kind of advertise that too um because mike made a good point that you can get sued if you don't have mm -hmm. an ada compliant at the site and that's fifty thousand dollars that do not have yet <laughs> so yeah and and what one thing for the newbies man ada compliance america's with disability acts you have to make sure that it's accessible for anybody that has a disability aka wheelchair you know it's on crutches you got to make sure that your atm is in compliance okay so this is a couple of the things that you will learn from veterans experienced people experienced mentors not something that you would want to do on your own um like i said guys it took me six months to get a mentor and then once i got that mentor my business just skyrocketed so okay cool man um now uh, we're getting a lot of requests on the comments, brother. So I don't know if uh, if you have some time later on today or tomorrow, if you're able to post some like cool pictures of, of your trailer um, from some of your events or whatnot, just in the group to, to share with everyone. Um, I know a lot of people would, you know, uh, really be grateful for that. So one question that we've been getting is, um, are you still using the actual uh, Wi-Fi uh, adapter that we, uh, that Mike basically uh connects with the atms or are you using something else for your internet no no we, we're using the same the same setup mm -hmm. that we received from uh mike there was no there was no okay. reason to change it if you think about it um mm -hmm. you're if, if you don't have that router your, your machine's not working um mm -hmm. and we realized that those routers that you guys actually supply us are really strong we went to an event where um somehow all the food trucks and all the vendors um square and cash app and everything stopped working and our machines were up mm -hmm. and it was that good that we weren't even we weren't even able to monitor our machines from the location because our why our, our internet didn't work on our phones but guess what our atms were up and running mm -hmm. um and and everyone had a default to uh, a cash only it, it converted into a cash only event so having your own internet is a big and a must when it comes to the atm because you know you can be in the middle of the country like we we had a rodeo we were out in the middle of nowhere and and we had great internet great service of course our phones didn't have as much um signal and everything but our atms kept you know we're, we're um we're up and running and we never even had an issue with with um internet or anything so yeah we still use all the routers that we that we received um and both of them each machine has their own router now so 
Okay. Awesome. Awesome, brother. So just to answer your question, guys, same Wi-Fi router that we provide to all of our clients who purchase the ATMs through us. So nothing different from actually doing the ATM placement, just like you would in any location. <clears throat> all right, David. So um, I don't want to run out of time here. Anything that you want to tell the public before I ask you this last question, brother? Um, yes. So be on a lookout because we are looking for mobile partners uh, throughout the states. Uh, we have a lot of organizers that um, actually reach out to us and said, hey, if you recommend me somebody, um, I'll gladly take them. Uh, mm -hmm. A lot of that you'll learn into this business is a lot of people are um, not the best when it comes to, um, you know, getting their, their clientele back. Um, most of them take surcharge, uh, take, take the surcharge and they disappear. Mm -hmm. um, and the organizers never hear from them. So, you know, like I said, eventually um, creating a, a relationship, they're able to trust in me. So, um, I have a lot of events that are, um, you know, Kentucky, Texas, Florida. I've reached out a lot about Florida events. Um, and those Florida events are key events. So you're probably looking at a thousand transactions. Phenomenal. Um, and so I'm looking for a team to get a team ready uh, to be able to hit those events up for us. Um, you know, we will set everything up for you. You pretty much just have to go plug and play, um, set up your machines, and then everything will go through us. Um, and uh, we'll communicate with the organizer. So if you're interested and you feel like you can go ahead and handle these events, um, we want to say a minimum of 50K cash vaults just so that, you know, you do not run out of money and that you make mm -hmm. the most money you can out uh, at those events. Um, and, you know, you don't have to get a mobile trailer. I understand that not everyone can afford a mobile trailer right away. Mm -hmm. um, so if you have the needs to stay there at the event, you know, monitor your machines there and make sure no one's taking them or you can, you feel comfortable enough for these events to leave your ATMs there you know, feel free to reach out to us. Um, I'll make sure that um, uh, I drop my uh, page so you can go ahead and, and um, add the page and you can go ahead and um, I'll go be posting um, events of where we're going to be hosted in. And if you wow. feel like you can handle these events, um, you can gladly join our team. Um, and Paul, if you have anyone you want to recommend that, you know, is serious about that. Yeah. You know, we're, we're here to, um, to, to expand the team and to hit up the most seats I that we can. So Absolutely, man. I mean, I, I know I got quite a few already in uh, Los Angeles because I'm based in San Diego right now. So I know quite a few people in Los Angeles now. They're like always hitting me up like, hey, man, you know, anyone who wants to team up for events or whatnot. And um, they're in the clients group, man. So that's that's great uh, about being part of our network is, you know, you get you get access to everyone else that we have access to. So that's a good thing. But uh, right on, man. Right on. I will definitely get you some. Uh, some new team members uh, to help you out with those events. Sounds phenomenal. So David, before we wrap it up, brother, I just want to ask you this last thing. So you started with us last year. Um, I remember uh, the main concern that you had was uh, getting approved with the business bank account. And uh, we were able to help you out with that uh, right away. So for all the new people that are watching right now that want to get into the ATM business, but they're skeptical, right? Because it's, it's online, you know, there's tons of scams out there, but I like to do live, you know, client success stories because we're showing what's real, you know, from real results from real people. So what would you tell anyone who is on the fence or on the fence with joining atmtogether.com? So, um, you know, we've all been in that, in the same shoes, you know, mm -hmm. looking for something passive income and then seeing some things that are just too true to, you know, I mean, too, um, too good to be true, you know, um, especially it being on Facebook, it, there being a lot of scams going on right now. Um, but you have to understand that these live testimonials, they don't pay you, they don't pay us to get on here and tell you, Hey, this is what Paul and this is what Mike helped us with. You know, we're just another client that was in your shoes and said, Hey, can I really trust these people? with whatever they're going to promise me. So um, the packages that you guys are going at, that you guys are advertising are amazing. Um, I see that, you know, you guys are pretty much starting the business up for the students and saying, mm -hmm. hey, here's your, here's your kick in your butt kind of thing. Here's mm -hmm. your location. Here's your machine. Um, go at it. And if you need more machines and if you feel like you can grow, just come back to us and we'll walk you through it. Um, and then receiving mm -hmm. all the emails, receiving um, all the, the different videos that Mike and that you post up, all the mentorship, you know, we learn about new things in the group all the time, you know? Um, so there's a lot of things to learn from the group. There's a lot of um, different ways to approach the ATM business in the group. Mm -hmm. um, so 
if you're really wanting to do it and you really want something passive um, that you know that's going to grow over time and not just something that you know you can invest and turn around in, in two days, which is impossible, um, the ATM is the way to go. And the ATM group that you guys are currently listening to is something that I had to do um, to get where I'm at. And if I wouldn't have gotten with the group, I probably would not be here because I wouldn't have anybody that would mentor me like Paul and um, Mike did. So, um, I mean, take my word. You guys can see my results. My results are all over um, Paul's page. Um, and I find them in some of other groups, but, you know, take my results as a, hey, this is what you can, this we can um, be making um, a year. And this is how much, um, how much the group actually can, can walk you through your ATM, um, your ATM journey. So just, just do it. That's all you got to do. Just actually uh, just do it. Absolutely. Absolutely, man. Good, 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 uh, good results uh, come with uh, people that actually implement the actions, man. And you definitely implemented a lot of action towards your goals. And dude, now you're creating something phenomenal, man. You know, you're probably going to be the first one in the industry to promote it online because that's just the way businesses are going. If you're not transitioning online, then you're leaving a lot of money on the table. So good for you, man. That's awesome. Um, okay. So I want to thank David for his live testimonial. Awesome as always, guys. And I, I like to leave you guys with what we actually offer, okay? So what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to do a share screen and I'm actually going to walk you through our official website. This is something, a uh, website that we've actually, we've been working on for almost the entire year last year. We grew atmtogether.com simply from Facebook. Okay, guys. So that tells you how um, structured we are as a company. But at the end of the day, now that we have um, moved to these other platforms, you can just see for yourself how structured we are and the client testimonials that we do have for you. So let's do this. And all right. And let me do this share screen, guys, so you guys can see exactly what I see. All right. So I'm going to see right here and go on to etmtogether.com. All right, guys. So as you guys can see, this is going to be the main website. If you've never been to etmtogether.com, I highly recommend that you guys actually check it out. You're going to have your homepage, our services, our reviews, the team, and then a login once you become a client with us. Okay. Now, if you want to become a member and you actually want to talk to a live person over Zoom, we are actually one of the only companies that does that, guys. Yes, that is facts. You're only going to get either email or a phone call. No one else will actually hop on Zoom face-to-face -face with you like we will. So with that being said, let's go ahead into our actual services. If you want a clear overview of exactly what we do for you as far as setting up your business from A to Z, I highly recommend that you guys go over to our ATM automation service page, which is under services. And then check out this video. This video is about 30 to 45 minutes long. It's with our COO, Hugh. And he clearly explains the entire program, everything that's included for you guys. It's phenomenal. We've done phenomenal things in this industry, 750 clients nationwide. And as you guys can see, we offer two different types of ATMs. We offer the internet modem included in your first intro package. We offer free processing, guys. So many companies charge you for the processing out there, which is the network. You get to keep 100% of your profits. And we also give you a cool application for your cell phone. So you can run your business from your cell phone. So you're able to know when you're about to run out of money. And then here's the greatest part about us guys. All right. And I'm going to skip through all of this. As you can see, we offer so many things, but location finder services. This is the number one reason why people love to do business with us because at the end of the day, we will give you a sales representative who is responsible to find your location in your city or state. We cover nationwide guys. And with that being said, it's a four to six week process. It's very, very fast. We've been able to actually get locations within a month now. Okay. And in the meantime, you're learning, you're growing, and you're getting advice from us. You're also learning how to program your ATM. You're learning how to install your ATM. So you're staying busy or you're just dedicating 
a couple hours out of the week. If you are a business individual or you're already an entrepreneur or you want to spend time with your family, it goes for so many different people from different lifestyles, guys. So that's why people love this type of system. Okay. Um, now with that, we actually provide you with the location, provide you with the location. If you like the location, you get along with the owner, the numbers make sense. We will review the numbers with you with our sales manager, Betula. Ultimately, you make the decision. You are the business owner of your business. And if this, if you like it, then we give you all the legal documents to go ahead and actually sign up the location. Then 20 minutes to install your ATM after we've taught you how to program it, in the comfort of your home, guys. It's phenomenal, okay? And our guarantee, our guarantee is if you don't like your location, we will actually change it for you free of charge, guys. Yes, you could come back to us even after a couple months. And if it's not generating the revenue that you're not happy with, guess what? Just talk to us, communicate with us. We are about good business. So at the end of the day, we are a one-stop shop, guys. We are one of the only companies out there that actually offer everything. And what I would recommend, do your due diligence, do your homework. I would do that with any type of investment, whether it's stocks, crypto, real estate, um, buying, uh, just any type of asset that's going to generate me money. You want to know you've done your homework, okay? So with that being said, I highly recommend that you guys go onto the website, go check out all these goodies. You guys are going to be astonished with what we offer because we also offer a lifetime membership where you guys get the ATMs and the locations at a deep discount after your first package, okay? And starting today, Till the 31st. Today's actually my birthday. Today I turned 34, guys. All right. So be it, I actually got injured, a lower back injury when I was squatting, when I was exercising um, in the morning. So I was literally, literally, I couldn't move yesterday. So I was just like, why the day before my birthday? But, anyways, that didn't stop me from being here, guys, talking to you guys, making sure that we provide the value and the service that we do to our members at ATM Business for Beginners. So with that being said, we are going to offer a discounted rate for you guys. If you guys want to get in right now, if you guys want to get in before the end of the month, then one, we will take deposits. And then two, we will offer you the deep discount as well. So you can start your journey in 2022 and start generating income from your ATM business. Comment automation right now. That's going to be A-U-T-O-M-A-T-I-O-N, automation. And then one of us will get in contact with you. We'll issue you a DM. And then we'll get you signed up on our calendar. And we'll talk. We'll start with a 15-minute informational call. Where we'll give you an overview of the entire program. And if you like what you hear, then we'll do a second consultation, which is about 45 minutes. And then we will go ahead and break down absolutely everything. So you feel comfortable and you know exactly what's going on, guys. Go ahead and comment automation. And that's it, guys. I will talk to you guys next Tuesday inside of ATM Business for Beginners. Have a good night.